This video will take a look at the playback triggers within Mosaic Designer 2. These triggers are Timeline Started, Timeline Ended, Timeline Released, Scene Started, and Scene Released. We'll start with Timeline Started. Like all of our other triggers, Timeline Started has options for Number, Name, Description, Group, Controller, Enabled, and Absorbed. Specific to Timeline Started is the ability to choose a timeline. By default, you'll see Any, which means this trigger will fire anytime any timeline is started for any reason. If I'd like to be more specific, I can select a specific timeline from this drop-down menu. For instance, Timeline 2 Main. This trigger will now fire anytime this particular timeline is started. This is really useful if I want to keep an eye on indicator states on a Tessera, or group timelines together to have them fire simultaneously. If I have two timelines that I always want to play together, I can set one to have a timeline started command, which triggers the next one. The next trigger we're going to take a look at is Timeline Ended. This trigger will fire anytime a timeline ends. Just like Timeline Started, you do have the ability to select a specific timeline. Keep in mind that Hold at End and Loop may modify when a timeline actually ends. Next up is Timeline Released. Keeping in line with the previous two timeline triggers, Timeline Release ends whenever a timeline stops controlling lights. This is the most common end trigger that you'll want to use. Just like the other two, Timeline Started and Timeline Ended, you have the ability to listen for any timeline releasing or a specific one. Just to recap, a Timeline Ended trigger will fire when a timeline reaches the end of its programming. For a looping timeline, this trigger will fire every time the timeline loops. Timeline Released will fire whenever a timeline stops controlling output. The next two triggers we'll look at are very similar to our timeline options, but are specific for scenes. Since scenes can now be played outside of timelines, we have to have the ability to monitor their status with triggers. The first one we'll look at is Scene Started. Scene Started offers the same options as Timeline Started, except for the fact that you'll select a scene. Released functions the same way. Anytime a scene no longer controls light, the Scene Release trigger will fire. Keep in mind, there is always the option to trigger off of any scene starting or releasing or a specific one by selecting the scene in the drop-down menu. 